Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of Magento 2 Elastic Search module and in today's video tutorial we'll be showing you how uh, making use of this particular extension uh, would you be able to integrate Elastic Search Engine within your Magento 2 web store. So uh, basically the Elastic Search is a highly scalable open source full text search and analytics engine and it allows you to store search and analyze big volumes of data quickly and in real time as well it is generally used as the underlying uh, what we say as the engine or the technology that powers applications that have complex search features and requirements so today we'll show you how the elastic search uh, plugin works and how you can integrate it uh, using this particular plugin and the workflow at the front end and lastly we'll be seeing the backend configuration settings or the initial configurations that are required for the elastic search uh, uh, module itself and kindly note that uh, before making use of this uh, particular module uh, the elastic search engine must be installed on your system and must be running so uh, let's get to the uh, web store front end for the magento 2 now so here I'm at the Magento 2 web store front end as you can see right now and uh, here we have set up the Elasticsearch demo and uh, what uh, basically how we can uh, be able to uh, check the search results for that uh, uh, we have already configured some of them so basically we'll be checking for the misspelled terms we'll be checking the synonym filter keywords and we'll also be checking the character filters as well Apart from that, there are other uh, search uh, filters as well, or the features as well. So for more, you can check the user guide that we have added within the uh, description uh, section below. And you can also check the live demo of this particular plugin to get more acquainted uh, with its features. So uh, let's go to, through these three uh, tests and let's see how this particular elastic search demo uh, comes on it. So for the very first one, that's the misspelled terms. So for example, we have the overnight uh, product within the Magento 2 store, but what if uh, the customer enters O-B-E-R-N-G-T? So that's a misspelled term. So let me paste it here at the top and let's tap here on the search button. So the search result for over N-I-G. So here we have the overnight duffel bag that's the actual product that the customer was uh, trying to search for and here you can also see the search suggestion that's the search instead for overnight you can also tap that up to uh, bring the different uh, uh, products for that uh, keyword if there are any so here all right so we don't have any let me close it out so uh, this was how we can uh, search the uh, product uh, when the uh, customer has entered the misspelled word. Now let's go back. Now let's try one more. Uh, let me copy this. That's the messenger bag. And let me search it within the Magento 2 web store now. So here for the M-E-S-S-E-N-G we can see that uh, the related search items have been populated that's the messenger bag messenger bag and the messenger bag there so this was for the uh, misspelled words now let's check the synonym filter keywords all right so uh, for example we have a trouser so uh, the search can be made using the synonyms for this particular uh, keyword that's a pant or a jeans as well Similarly, for a school bag, we can set it as a backpack, pack, or a school bag as well. And uh, similarly, the admin can add uh, more and more uh, synonym groups as well from the admin backend panel. So now let's check the synonym uh, filter keyword. So what if I copy this pant and uh, I try and search the pant within the Magento 2 web store and let's see what it brings up. So the search results of pants are here. So here we'll be able to see the pants, as you can see right now. All of the pants are basically being uh, displayed here, as you can see. 
and uh, these pants come under the trousers basically so uh, if I go back uh, to our previous section once again and uh, lastly we can, we'll be showing you the character filters now so uh, for the resting purposes we have added the ABC as a pattern that will be replaced with jackets so if you will be searching for the Juno ABC the actual search would be performed for the Juno jackets so uh, let's get in and let's see how it is done so for that uh, let me enter Juno ABC and let me tap here on the search uh, button there and this will display the jacket uh, for the same so here you can see that we have the Juno ABC and that's the uh, Juno jacket as you can see right now the Juno jacket is there so uh, that was it uh, for that uh, character filters there uh, where we had edited the ABC as a pattern and it was replaced with the jackets and we searched for the Juno ABC and uh, the actual search performed and uh, brought up the Juno jackets there so apart from that the customers can also enter uh, a few characters of the product and it automatically populates basically the product within the web store in an instant fraction so let me show you that if I type BLU so it's instantly providing us with the feedback for the uh, product within the store if it's available there so that's how the elastic search works and there are much more options as well so uh, now let me take you to the admin backend panel and let's see how the initial configuration settings can be done and how we can make use of the elastic search uh, features so for that I'll just take you to the admin backend panel now so I'll be logging into my admin backend panel using my username and the password after login we'll be navigating through uh, that's the uh, stores then uh, configuration page and uh, on the configuration page uh, just give me a second uh, we'll have to uh, scroll down to the uh, catalog section and under the catalog section uh, we have to uh, tap here on the catalog and under that we'll have to uh, tap on the catalog search uh, engine so here we are on the catalog and uh, under catalog we have to go to the catalog search and here you can set up the uh, search engine you need to set up the search engine so from the drop down you need to choose uh, web cool elastic search and uh, thereafter you just need to tap here on the save configuration button now uh, let's scroll up and let's go to the web cool let me tap here and here we'll just go to the elastic search setting and here under the general settings the admin would be able to set up the host the port number the index prefix and uh, can check the connection status and can reset the connection status as well so uh, in the very first option for the host uh, the admin needs to enter the elastic server host in within this particular field here so you'll set it as uh, required there then the admin can set up the uh, port number and uh, basically in order to configure the elastic search you need to set up your port number then uh, for example uh, as we're using the elastic search server on multiple websites and if we use index prefix uh, then uh, during the re-indexing of that particular website data will not be affected uh, the data on the other websites so basically from here you can set up the index prefix that is basically used to create your data index unique on elastic server then you can set up the uh, check connection status so for that uh, uh, you just need to tap here on the uh, check status uh, button and then you need to uh, first make sure that uh, you have saved the host in the port fields first so after you've done with the host port fields and you have saved the configuration then you need to tap here on the check status and then tap ok and that would uh, bring the uh, uh, the prompt that the connection is working so you can also reset the connection uh, by tapping here on the uh, reset connection button and that will reset the connection from the elastic server and then you need to set up your host port number and the other details once again now let's come to the search settings 
So uh, within the uh, search settings, the admin basically can uh, select the uh, multi-match query or simple match query. And uh, that's the first option here, select front end search type, whether you want to have it as a multi-match or a simple match query. And you can choose the best search type according to your store needs. And uh, for more, you can also check this particular link that we have here and uh, that will allow you to understand uh, the functioning of the multi and the simple match queries much better then uh, we have the select fields for multi search so uh, select fields for the multi search so from here you can choose the fields that would used uh, that would be used for the multi search so here we can see that the product attributes has the name the sku and the description so these fields uh, would now be used for the multi search uh, for searching out the uh, products within your store. You can set them up as per your own requirements. So you can make use of a single, multiple or triple as required. Then we have the select multi match type. So here you can choose uh, the multi match type as best fields, most cross fields, phrase or the phrase prefix as required. You can also set up the uh, operator for the multi search whether you want to have it in an and or as an or. You can also set up the uh, minimum uh, should match. So here you will set up the number and that would be the minimum match percentage to reduce the low quality matches. Then we have the allow spell correction in search. So you can choose uh, the spell correction within the search as level 1 or level 2 or you can make it as disabled. So uh, basically the fuzziness allows the search to auto correct the spelling mistakes. Then we have the select search filters. So from here you can, the, uh, you can select the search filters that are available like the Elysion filter, lowercase filter, synonym filter, stop foot filter. So basically uh, the selected search filters would be used to filter out the search queries at the web store front end and uh, so uh, these are settings for the uh, multi-match uh, query that we are to, uh, going through right now so the rest of the options are for the multi-match so we have chosen the fields for the multi-match we have uh, chosen the multi-match type the operator for the uh, multi-match and or or the minimum uh, matching percentage to reduce the low quality matches. We have set up the uh, spell correction as level one or two. We have uh, selected the search filters like the lowercase filters, synonym filters. From here, we can enter the comma separated list of the Elysiums. So basically, you need to enter comma separated list of Elysian articles, and this will only work if the Elysian filter is selected. So if you've chosen the Elysian filter here, then you can set up uh, the, uh, what we say as the Elysian articles here, and then uh, it would work only, all right? So you can choose lowercase, synonym filter, Elysian filter, and the software filters as well. Then uh, you can set up the usage of the stop words filter. So if, uh, basically you can enable the stop word filtering from here choose a yes to make it otherwise choose no to disable the same for uh, disabling the stop word filtering then you can enter the comma separated list of uh, stop words as you can see and uh, if uh, you have not entered anything here and uh, then uh, the system will be using the elastic default stop word list you can choose the uh, language stemmer so uh, here you can uh, select the store wise language stemmer according to your store language accordingly you can choose it from the drop down then you can set up the comma separated words to exclude uh, from stemming so basically you you'll enter the store wise list of comma separated example uh, separated examples are like that the cats cat like etc uh, then we have the uh, select search filters you can choose the HTML strip character filter, mapping filter, or the pattern replace filter as required. Then you have the enter comma separated list of filter mappings. So this uh, particular filter mapping will only work if mapping filter is selected. 
so uh, you can enter comma separated list of filter mappings as examples you can check this particular thing here and for that you need to choose the mapping filter within the search filters you can choose uh, or you can enter the pattern also so basically this filter will only work if the pattern replaces filter is selected so pattern replace filter is selected if the pattern reflect is uh, pattern replace filter is selected uh, uh, is select basically it will work only if it is enabled then you can set up the pattern for that and uh, as we uh, know that a badly written regular expression could run very slowly or even through a stack overflow error and uh, cause the note it is uh, running on to exit suddenly so you can set up the enter pattern for the same and then we have the enter pattern to replace with the uh, filter pattern so this uh, ABC the entire pattern at the storefront within the search uh, would be replaced with the jacket so if you enter the customer enters ABC then jackets would be displayed uh, in place of that so basically works with the uh, pattern filter and uh, used as a replacement uh, for the entered pattern then we have the set cron for index management so you can choose uh, the uh, cron settings for the index management on a daily weekly or monthly basis choose daily you can set up the start time choose weekly you can set the start time you can also set it as monthly and you can set up the start uh, time for the same and thereafter you just need to tap here on the save configuration buttons for the multi match query you can also choose the simple match query and uh, then you can choose the allow spell correction in search as level 1 2 or disabled similarly you can choose the uh, select search filters uh, you can uh, enter the comma separated list of uh, Elysian articles uh, it only works if you have chosen it here under the Elysian filter and uh, similarly you can set up the uh, stock word filter choose a yes to enable then you can enter the comma separated list of stock words that would be used and if you have not entered anything here it will use the elastic uh, search default stock word list uh, there then you can set up the uh, comma separated words to exclude from the stemming so here you can enter the store wise list of comma separated uh, words that are to be excluded uh, from the uh, step uh, from the stemming itself for example we have the cats or the cat like etc so we can stem it out you can choose the uh, select filters from the HTML strip ca character filter the mapping filter the pattern replace filter as required and uh, these uh, search filters would be able to filter the search query at the store front end you can also enter the comma separated list of filter mappings and uh, this will only work if you have chosen the filter mapping in the select search filters section here only then this would work and uh, you can uh, enter the separated list of uh, filter mappings uh, as an example for it is here you can check that how we can do that then you can uh, enter the pattern and the enter, enter the pattern to replace the uh, particular filter so these uh, two and three are or four are basically uh, the same settings and uh, thereafter you just need to tap here on the uh, save configuration button to save the complete uh, configuration for the image into elastic search itself uh, now let me show you the search suggestion how it works at the front end i've already shown you so basically using this feature a customer can search the categories page of the products just by tapping typing in the keyword so if we type in the fit at that very moment it would display the products or the categories that are within uh, your Magento 2 web store as you can see right now apart from that uh, you can also see the did you mean option so basically this feature allows the customers uh, to search for the product if they mistakenly entered wrong product name so that uh, now this particular feature will suggest them all the products which have nearly or uh, the nearby same product name so here you can see that uh, we had searched for the BACK PA so it's a misspelled word but uh, the uh, search result gave us uh, the actual product that is the uh, backpack so here also you can see that we have the search instead of uh, backpack 
back bar basically then we have the auto spell correction in search so uh, if the admin has set this up uh, and the uh, spell correction level is set to level 1 or 2 and then according to that the elastic search engine basically automatically corrects the keywords even if they are typed incorrectly by the customer so if you type uh, the uh, name of the product incorrectly even that uh, would be uh, corrected automatically by the uh, search engine itself so apart from that uh, the admin can select the search filters as well and the admin would navigate through the marketing and the search synonyms section and here uh, the admin can add the new synonym groups as required and uh, apart from that the admin can also add a new synonym group so here you can see that uh, for example the admin has added the synonyms that's jeans pants and pant uh, that you can see here jeans pants and pant and the store we have selected and the website as well so the admin can add or edit it as well now when the customer searches for any of these words uh, uh, within the search engine uh, the search engine would basically show all of the re results that are related to these words so we have the pant 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 and the pant and the rest ones as well so we have just shown you uh, exactly how it works uh, already in the starting of this particular video also uh, if you uh, remember we were choosing the Elysion filter and uh, basically a token filter which removes the Elysions for example La Avion the plane will be tokenized as Avion that's plane then we also had the lowercase filter so basically a token filter of the type lowercase that normalizes token text to the lowercase and then we have the uh, stop word filter and this filter is basically used to filter out the stop words from the search query for example and is to are some of the stop words that are removed and to learn more about the uh, token filters you can navigate to the elastic uh, website that's elastic.co uh, and the uh, link is provided within the uh, user guide uh, that we have added within the description below so you can reach that uh, token filter reference there and you can check the rest of the details as well and lastly the admin can do the index management as well and for that he'll just navigate through Elasticsearch and then index management so that's Elasticsearch and then index management and the admin can also modify the status of the index type and the admin can select either update on schedule or update on save mode for the index type for example if the admin adds new product and then he has to modify the status of a product index type so uh, accordingly uh, the admin has to re-index to change the status from re-index required to ready and lastly we have the set cron for the index management and from here the admin would be able to set up the cron for the index management on the daily weekly or monthly basis and can also set up the time so that if any changes are made then those changing changes are updated in the elastic search engine according to this frequency and the time as set by the admin so uh, that was much about the elastic search module and if you still have any questions queries suggestions or requirements then you can always get back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you may raise a ticket at webcool.uvds.com thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead